Jules Strongbow. This is your semi-final event of the evening. That's two falls out of three with a 45-minute time limit. In the white corner, weighing 228 pounds, from Woodland Hills, California, turbulent Ted Christie. <laughs> Black corner weighing 224 pounds from Sonora, Old Mexico, Enrique Torres. The referee, Ted Grice. Of all things, I want you to get the announcement or instructions over the television. Above all things, should you two men go on the floor together, I want no wrestling. Break clean and get back into the ring as quick as you can. We will not tolerate any wrestling on what the floor mean, in the event that both of you should fall out of the ring. Yeah. We want to be very careful that we do not wrestle on the but floor. But you can hit with the open hand. That is correct. Now, all if right. you get on the floor, you must come back at the count of 20 and from the apron 10. You can use the open hand, but you cannot use the back of the fist, but you can, and you can use the forearm. No hair pulling or gouging. Remember that. Now, if your part, any part of the body is against the rope or under the rope, give me a clean break. Don't steal any holes or hook any punches or any manner, shape, or form coming off that rope. Will you do that? Any questions? Okay. Okay, shake right. hands. There's a handshake. Enrique Torres off with his robe, which is a very conventional type of robe in turquoise blue lined with a tomato red. And Christy cops a sneak, but the bell has not sounded. Ted Grice sends him back. There's the bell. Now the center windup is on. Two out of three falls, 45 minute time limit match. Christy takes Torres off balance against the west side ropes. Torres tries with the top wrist block to break a top wrist lock and goes up with it. It's forced back with a long pull by Christie. Christie takes him down and immediately Torres flails out. Torres in tremendous condition. As is Christie. Christie's lost a lot of weight now and he's fast. He weighs only 228 tonight. As a forward head chancery. Locking his chin locking now with the left hand as he argues with referee Ted Grice that there is no hook there. The thumb is out of the neck. Pulls up again. Chin locks again to hold the head, but the thumb was the thing he was talking about. Ted Price says, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I want to see all five fingers. And Christy trying with the thumb again. Reaches into the trunks to take Torres off balance to the mat. Takes himself aside, headlock in reverse. That's from the top over the shoulder. Torres chin locks. Torres may just about make this too. Nope. First hold is usually the good one. Christy goes behind, headlocks from the back, setting his knuckles right at the base of the brain and Chugging him just a little bit in there. Torres again hooks that wrist to the left arm, pulls it up and hooks it, makes a top wrist lock out of it. But he's outside of it. He's outside of his hold. He's got to use his shoulder in there for a block. He's got a fine hold if he can keep Christie from going away from it. He's outside of his hold. He's inside the arm, rather. Both, both. Of Torrey's arms are outside of the arm. As a hard right hand sent in there, and Ted Grice saw it and calls Christie's attention to it. Let's have no more of that, Ted. But Torrey's unaware, is caught him low on the left side. Christie's in great shape. I don't think I've seen Christie in better shape in the past four years. Down to 228. 
sharp. Torres is at 224, two pounds under his customary weight, 226. Torres again takes that top wrist lock. This time he's set right. It goes again, this time under the heart, and Ted Bryce says, let's not have any more of that. Just be calling for witnesses that he chugged with the heel of his hand and doesn't seem to get any. It'll take a subpoena to get anybody to say that he saw that done with the heel of the hand. I said, this is your last warning, boy. Get your hands open when you punch. If you're going to punch, you can club or hit with the heel of the hand, but never with the knuckles in a straight punch. Front headlock now by Ted Christie. In close with the thumb working. Roaring back on the front headlock. That's out everywhere. Watch that left forearm. It slip over the chin. It's pulled away from the eyes of referee Ted Dryce. He comes around to investigate. That is. Watch that left forearm. It's below the chin. Ted Dryce got a break out of it. Over the man away. Dives in and takes himself a front headlock and rears back on it. Three times, four times, five, six. And Ted Dice orders Torres to break. The same hold must be broken. Torres throws a right hand in there, sauce for the goose. The same spot that Ted Christie struck him. My count is right, Torres has one coming. Ted Glass says, I didn't see it. Close, Torres throws another one. He's even now, but that was a hard one and low. Ted Christie claims foul and the foul. His claim, of course, was, went unnoticed. Each man went for a hold, and it's Christie using trunks to take Torres down, steps over a toe hold. Takes a figure four step over. Pulls it into reverse, goes in to use ropes. Christy claims he can use the ropes to bounce off, and Ted Rice says you can't use them in a hole. If you're tossed into the ropes, fine. First figure four step over. It's a dandy. Signal for submission is into Torres and Torres refuses it. How much can you take? Christie's left knee is the one that's doing damage in right now. Mr. Christie will lose his hold for that little maneuver. He's given five seconds to get out of there. Torres now hotter than a baker's apron moves out there, and his fists are clenched. Takes Christie in and pummels into the next section. Right nice to the jaw, and Christie is down in his corner. Torres' corner. Christy 
Call referee drives his attention to the fact that Torres' hands are clenched. There's a headlock in the ropes, a rope block by Christie, and Torres slipped out of it at the risk of tearing off his right ear. Front headlock now by Ted Christie. He bombs with the right knee. He's bombing the bomber in there just now. And stung him with it, too. The rabbit punch back of the head in the front headlock, chin locking with the left hand. He bombs again with the right knee. And he's catching him flush on the face with it. And the forearm smashed between the shoulder blades. Another bomb to the face. He's catching Torres across the cheekbone with it every time. The rabbit punching in there. And between the shoulder blades. That's a bad spot. Torres gets on his bicycle to clear his head. Took some help to break him in and got the man with a hard right hand. Oh, Millie, a hard one. That first one was a belly. That second one missed, but the third one was a dandy. There's Torres set to the head, locked in the ropes. Christie's in there. There he is, arm locked in the ropes. Flying tackle in the midsection. There goes another flying tackle in the midsection, and Christie is hanging on. Leading to mercy, the right hand of the jaw goes in there from Torres' right hand. He double twists him in the ropes. He's doubly locked now. Get that man out of there quick. That's like a tourniquet on his arms. Incidentally, Dominic Shane had his best bone broken like that. Torres isn't helping referee Ted Grice at all. Better get that undone quickly because Ted Grice or Ted Christie's hands are getting very bright red. Torres is not helping at all. He's pulling the tension up on the ropes. Top of the midsection of the big man from Woodland Hills. Torres is going to make it sure he's not helping at all. Ted Price is trying to make Torres sit in the center of the ring. And he'll know what there he goes. He popped another sneak on him. Fall by disqualification. Torres is supposed to be helping. Now let's see what he does. He just twists the ropes a little tighter. Torres is not helping. Ted Grice is really, he's lost his patience now with Torres. <laughs> One way he can do is unwind the man the way he got in there. One arm is out, now well, let's see what he'll do with the other one. Ted Grice has got his arm in now. Oh, this is a muddle. Torres gives it a couple of jerks to tighten it up. Now Ted Grice has got to get his own hands out of there. Immediately Torres goes to work and sends Christie to the mat with a beal. Everybody's out of the ropes and the match is on. There he goes with another slamming beal. Christie takes one on the button. Torres takes him out with another beal. There's a hard right hand that drops Christie. Another one to the midsection. As up, he's caught for an airplane spin. There he goes. Two, three. What is he going to do with him? He sets him down and sends one in his button. Now for the press, what does he get? One, three. A 
Look at the yard. Enrique Torres with an airplane spin and a body pass. Takes the big man from Woodland Hills, California, and he's really taken in. He's dizzy. His legs are rubbery. Oh, Nelly, what a mess. There is a reasonable facsimile of Ted Christie. In the time of 14 minutes, 4 seconds, with an airplane spin, an elbow smash, and a body press, the first ball to Torres. Torres have been on the first ball. Down to the wrestlings now. There's the 10 second warning whistle and the seconds leave the ring. It's Ted Christie, one down now to Enrique Torres. Hammer is down, there's the second fall on its way. A little cagey now. Torres in his crouch. That's Torres' famous La Pandera Negra, the Black Panther. Crouch. That Christie a little confused. He wants him on his feet, straightened up. Christ Christy ordered him up, and Torres says, I like it down here. He's in again, and Christy doesn't want any part of it. He wants a standing referee's hold. Christy just a little bit excited about it. Steps in. Kidney area, another one rubbing with the forearm. It's okayed by referee Ted Grice, and still another finds its mark in the midsection at the back. Christie trying for an octopus, takes him down, makes a step over toe hold out of it. He's close enough to the ropes for deviltry. Grice finds the shoulder set for two, and Tony's right shoulder is set up. He figure four is that toe hold again. It's a figure four step over. Again, he gets a count of two on Torres' shoulders. Is, can break this hold on suspicion of using that rope if he wants to, but he's he's got to see the infraction. A repeated deception, he can break the hold. Ted Grice saw him and orders the man off his hold. Let's have it broken up. He says, give him five seconds to get out of there. Four is the count. A clean break is demanded and got by Ted Grice. Goes back to his corner, clenches his fist now. The Panther is standing his man off. And lock preparation as Christie steps in, takes that leg again. But they're off balance against the ropes, and Ted Grice watches it as a right hand finds his mark twice under Torrey's heart. He's taken out with the toe hold and into that step over again. There goes figure four again. Into the trunks goes Ted Christie. Christie using trunks now with the left hand. Christie with his hold beautifully compound so either hand can go busy around the body. 
on the bottom ropes again for his to lift his weight up suspended all on the hold 228 pounds Ted Grice says he will not count so long as there's deception at the ropes. Christie says, all right, I'll claim this fall. There's a figure four step over Toho. Into the trunks for the left hand now is Christie. Ted Grice says he will not count shoulders so long as there's deception at the ropes. Aha. Uh -huh. Commission man at the ring, I think. An official at the ringside said, let's break it up. And break it up it was. Someone possibly in authority down there said the hold was being held illegally. Just demanding that Tory's hands be open. Calling the referee to make Torres open his hands. Torres dives in, sets a right hand and drives it into the jaw. Sets another one into the jaw. He's hooked at that leg again. In goes Ted Christie with that step over toe hold. Hooks at figure four. But they're against the ropes and Ted Grice says, break it up, you're both against the ropes. Come on, break it up. Christie steps on the neck with the right foot. The break is to be made and it will be made. <laughs> He again takes a front headlock. Goes a forearm across the midsection. Lies a knee drop. A knee drop across the back. Bombing again. What do we get with it? One, only with two, three, and that'll be all! Christie bombing very hard. He hits Torres at the cheekbone. Christie has acquired a technique of knee lifting that is very vicious and very effective for him. The second fall goes to Ted Christie. So we're a fall apiece now. A knee drop across the kidney area didn't do Torres any good. Slowed him up immediately. He took a lot of abuse that was not very obvious, but abuse nevertheless. Ted Christie, there it is, the second fall. To Ted Christie. Ten second warning whistle has sent the men out of the ring, and there is the bell for the third and deciding fall. They're quick at it. They dive in now. There. Christie now feeling he's ready. Hot from the the second fall starts clubbing at the midsection at the back. Cross the kidneys with the forearm. Three, four times. Back goes Torres to the kidneys. Clubbing in the back. Torres now forearms across the left kidney. That one stung, Christy. Trunks goes Christie. Take Torres down to the headlock from the back. Here the trunks again to keep him there. There's strangulation there, I believe, if Ted Grice can find it. No, it's up off the neck. The knuckles of the right hand are being gouged under the ear in Japanese sleeper area. That old sleeper hold. Now it's down where Ted Grice says it doesn't belong and let's break it up, he says. Break it up, he does. Not a moment too soon either, as far as Torres is concerned. Back goes Christie again, right hold of the left forearm is in bad position. What's the matter with you? Here are the trunks again to take Torres down, and Ted Grice saw it and orders Christie away from his hold. But Torres is definitely slowed up by the impaired breathing from that pressure on his neck. 
fights away from an attack by Christie. Christie's stalking now, but the Panther is showing his fangs. He dives in and forearms at the rabbit hole. Right back of the ear. Christie claims he was hit with a fist. Torres again, rabbit punches and walks away. A left arm side headlock. Here's a battering ram set up to Torres' head. Stinging blow into the top buckle. Torres is really hurt. Christie tries for a press. What is he going to get from it? He punches low with the right hand. He gets no count so long as he's punching. Torres made good with the side head scissors. Christie claims her strangulation in and is calling referee Ted Grice's attention to it. There's a fishtail of the head scissors. What's that right leg? It slips down below the chin. Ted Grice will break it, which he does. Christie claims he was foully strangled. Claims the fall. Hard forearm smashed by Christie and a rabbit punch. He bombs again, that stinging one, catches him on the cheekbone with it. He hurts Torres with that knee lift, more than any knee lift I've seen Torres hurt with. Except for a toss into the west side ropes, there's a tackle for Christie and Christie is down. Hard tackle, cut him in the arm. That one's midsection. Goes again, a flying body scissors, and that'll be all for Mr. Christie. You can count it out right there. That'll be all. He don't come back from that one right away. That's the way it'll go into the books. Ted Grice's decision is final. First and third falls go to Enrique Torres. This team may want some more. I guess he lost count. But there it is. The semifinal is history. And the winner, Enrique Torres. Just a moment, Torres says that man wants some more. I got some. That'll be all. Rue Barber now. Ted Christie will have to take his case to a higher court because the match has gone into limbo as a win for Enrique Torres over Ted Christie of Woodland Hills, California. <laughs>